the relationship between science and poetry. And there is a scene, he's alone in the train, and he describes the sun with a poetry from Jean-Jacques Rousseau or with the chemical composition of the sun. This is a life, you no know, poetry and science. Yes, I, I personally love science. I, I'm really intrigued by perpetual motion. I got like this little skateboard wheel and then I put holes in it and then I put magnets, but I put it so that um, the magnets would go like like this and then they went around, but they made it so like, imagine this is the wheel, but then they went around and then they went to the outside of the wheel and stayed on the outside. But then you had to keep them spaced exactly the right position and then I, I put it and then I got like a magnet here. Um, um, so then the, the magnets would be attracted to it, and then each magnet behind it keeps pulling itself to it. And then... Does it spin? Yeah, it spins. Is it, is it ongoing spin? Yes. But, so you wouldn't really be doing more, would you? Uh, not perpetual. Like, I'm an engineer, at least, so I'm yes. very interested. So he I can, can, he, do it on my own. He can <laughs> speak about science the whole afternoon, I prefer to warn you. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. I like a few scientists. Um, presidents, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> but um, I know of, one of my favorites is, um, um, he's the director of the Science Museum here in Munich. He, he's amazing. He, um, I saw he has, he's really good in nanotechnology. He made the smallest, smallest hole in the world. He's really good. I really like. Um, he's a professor. He's amazing. He built. He made this um, entire museum. He he has everything. He he teaches everyone um, electricity, nanotechnology. He has everything about Leo, Leonardo da Vinci. He um, he made. He he not only like in museums you can see planes, but um, he, he shows you the planes, but he also made it so that half the plane you can see, um, like how it would be, but then the other half, like he shows you like how ever, like the wiring and the wings, he shows you like the engine, um, and then there was like this big engine from a Boeing um, um, passenger jet, and he, sh and, he, and he opened it up and, and he made it so that you can actually see the inside of the jet, you can see the wiring on the wing, and then, um, and then he see, and then he shows you the attachment, like how it attaches. He he sh he has the very first. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he can't speak about science all day. On stage, he would he was interested about everything technical, the sounds of 3D, everything. He needed to understand everything.